use the correct bolt circle diameters, the chain rings you take off, so they'll fit on the spider of the crank. You'll need to use the same speed chain rings as the chain and rest of your drivetrain. The higher the speed, 10 or 11 speed, will tend to get thinner and move closer together on your spider of your crank. With the small chain ring, usually the riding is on the outside and faces out, except for Shimano where it faces in. You'll often see either a notch or on the inside a small mark that will line up with the crank. Chain rings should be matched, that is they should come from the same company and should be lined up with the notch under the crank. Even if all the teeth appear to be the same, the fact that they are matched and lined up will prevent shifting problems, something we call problems with timing. If the teeth of the small chain ring are aligned properly, that is the timing, as we shift to the small chain ring, notice how the rollers fall between the teeth. But if the small chain ring is misaligned, that is the timing is not right, the teeth or small chain ring has been rotated possibly to another bolt selection. Notice when we shift, the rollers sit on top of the teeth and may actually spin for a while before they engage. Once you have the small chain ring placed such that the notch or mark is under the crank, take a couple of the chain ring bolts, go ahead and place them in. And then take your chain, carefully lay it on the chain ring, and this will hold the chain, small chain ring in place while you replace the rest of the nuts and bolts. Instead of using the regular bolt with that odd tool to tighten, I acquired some bolts for the chain ring that tighten with a six millimeter hex wrench and I've coated the bolt part with some anti-seize some people like to use some carbon fiber material that allows compression and higher torque so they don't loosen. When the small chain ring and the nuts are all attached, go ahead and take your large chain ring, make sure that the pin is going to line up with the crank arm. Then coating the outer the nut itself with either anti-seize or carbon fiber grip. Carbon fiber grip will get, allow for a little higher tension when you torque the bolts. Go ahead and attach all the bolts using a five and a six millimeter hex wrench. Torque all bolts to the proper inch pounds or newton meters. For a complete review on chain rings, see the link below in the pinned comment. If you have any questions, additions, please comment. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.